Recently, I've been spending more and more time with my iPad Mini 6, pushing it to its limits, making it my main device for content consumption, and using it for productivity. If you haven't seen it yet, I recently uploaded my one year journey with it on this channel. Link is in the description down below. If you're new to this channel, my name is Emmy and I'm an architect, designer, and entrepreneur. I currently own a base model iPad Mini 6 with 64 gigs of storage and the space gray colorway. Though the iPad is a device that can do a lot, you can get more benefits by adding a few essential key accessories to it. Here are my top favorite apps and accessories that I frequently use to maximize my iPad Mini 6. Let's start with my favorite accessories. But just a quick disclaimer, some of these products were sent over to me to try out, but everything I will say about them come from my own experience and opinions. I've been a fan of Moth products for quite some time now. I attach an invisible laptop stand to my old MacBook Pro and I've been using it for many years. For my iPad Mini 6, I mainly use Moth snap case and snap tablet stand combination to increase my productivity and utilize its versatile variations to position my iPad in the most comfortable ways possible. I also like its smooth vegan leather finish that definitely feels very premium. For my use case, whenever I'm drawing, I like using the iPad flat down, but recently, I find using the stand to angle the iPad a little more towards me to be desirable as well. Reading on the iPad on vertical mode is also easier because I can just easily flip it around, something that's hard to do with Apple's iPad folio case. For the times when I want to just sit back and enjoy watching content and videos on the iPad, I just simply adjust the magnetic snap on stand and it lets my iPad appear like it's floating. These features are amazing, but one thing I do appreciate is the Apple Pencil tray beside the case. I have lost my old Apple Pencil once and it was a stressful experience. The magnetic attachment is great, but because it's not the most stable way of keeping the pencil in place, I knew I wanted a case that can hold and protect the pencil to prevent it from falling and being lost. I also appreciate that the snap case protects all the edges and sides of the iPad. It gives me confidence that the beautiful metal finish won't get scratches or dings. With this, I can just easily throw them inside of my carrying case. To change things around, I also use a snap float folio, also from Moth. I have it in this beautiful sienna brown colorway and it breaks all the monotony from all the black accessories around me. The snap float folio features three different magnetic angles an 80 degree landscape mode, a floating landscape mode that offers 1.5 inches of elevation, and a floating landscape mode that offers 2.4 inches of elevation. To me, this feels like an upgrade from Apple's iPad folio case because it offers a lot more versatility. I also appreciate the unique design thought process put in the folding origami style of this folio. It might look a little strange since the folio is cut in the middle, but it's definitely needed for it to function well. The edges do slightly protrude, but it's not a bother for me at all. In fact, it does add a little bit of drop protection. The cover is also magnetic and functions well with the built-in sleep-wake function of the device. My favorite configuration is its floating landscape mode. I just find it to be the most efficient position when you're using the iPad to watch something, or if you want to use it like a computer with an external keyboard connected to it. Since I want to protect the Apple Pencil as much as I can, I also use this elegant pen case from Moft. It's easy to attach onto my folio and its magnetic lid on the side easily snaps onto my Apple Pencil which helps to keep the pen in place and safely store it without scratching its finish. One of the most interesting pieces I have is actually a simple one. It's this beautiful charging cable from a company called AOHI. They were kind enough to send this over to me and I must say that the unboxing experience was such a joy. The AOHI 240 watt modular extension fast cable set for a feature is probably the only cable I would need to bring with me around. Its fast power delivery is at 240 watts at PD 3.1 and it can charge my phone, some USB-C powered laptops, my Switch, and yes, my iPad mini as well. What I really like about this one is that it's customizable in many different ways. The short USB-C to USB-C cable and the USB-C to lightning cables can easily be extended by attaching a straight extension cable and the spring cable. It also comes with weatherproof locking mechanisms that are sandblasted in finish, making it less likely to corrode and oxidate. The cable's skin-like rubber finish is also very beautiful, and its yellow color makes it easily visible amidst a sea of black devices. 
I use it alongside the MagCube 67W dual port GAN charger also from AOHI which has interesting light indicators to tell you whether your device is fast charging, standard charging, or trickle charging. This cable and charger combination is now my go-to daily charging system not only for my iPad but across all my devices as well. I really am intentional about taking care and organizing my gear and accessories. For storage and organization, I have been using Alpaca's Element Stack Case for over a month now, and I seriously appreciate how well built this bag is. It has a weatherproof ballistic nylon finish as well as a water resistant zipper lining that can protect the gear inside. With its small form factor, it can hold my iPad Mini 6, my charger and cables, and other accessories I may need to bring on the go. It has over 9 pockets which can store and hold many different small things. I'm a huge fan of the blood orange interior which allows me to spot all my black gear easily because of the high vis contrast. I also like how it opens like an accordion which makes accessing all my gear easier for me, especially since my hands are not the smallest ones out there. Organizing my items using its dividers are also easy because they are very well spaced out and I like the fact that there's a small hole which can store my Apple Pencil and keep it in place too. The best part is, it can stand on its own. When I have to go out, I can easily just store and put my things away in here, zip it up and put it inside my backpack. Or if I want to keep things minimal, I can easily just hook the included straps and use it as a standalone sling bag. While typing on touchscreen is easy on the iPad, there are times when I do really want to have a full typing experience. I use my Keychron K3 mechanical keyboard which is a slim keyboard that can connect via Bluetooth to my iPad Mini 6. It's designed primarily for macOS and iOS devices and it works seamlessly with the iPad. I do this setup if I want to work elsewhere to plan out my content, write scripts, use Google Sheets, and other administrative tasks. I change its keycaps from the stock ones to the all white ones which are also from Keychron. While the iPad is great for productivity, I also like using it for gaming once in a while. I don't have other games installed on the device but I do play Call of Duty Mobile on it. I pair it with this gaming controller from SteelSeries and it allows me to have a more immersive experience while I'm playing. It's also very responsive and is easy to use, making it a great controller for iPad users who want to decompress in game during their downtime. Since I love customizing and designing things to enhance my user experience and allow me to focus more on the task at hand, I changed my icons to my custom made all black icon pack. I did this using Apple's Shortcuts app. To change icons, you can just click on the plus sign, then click scripting, then choose open app. Then select the app you want to open, then click on the information icon and select add to home screen. From here, you can click on the choose photo or choose file option and you can select the icon from there. Rename the app and then click add. You can see now that it's added to your home screen. Link to the icon and wallpaper pack in the description down below. Moving on to my favorite apps to use. As an architect and designer, Procreate is my main tool for sketching out ideas, artworks, and even some visual notes. It has an intuitive interface that is easy to use and navigate, making it ideal for artists who want to focus on creating rather than figuring it out how to use the app. Because Procreate is optimized for iPad, it takes full advantage of the device's powerful hardware to provide a seamless and responsive drawing experience. The app also provides a wide range of layer controls, allowing artists to adjust opacity, blend modes, and more to achieve the desired effect. Additionally, Procreate is affordable compared to other digital illustration apps and offers frequent updates that introduce new features and tools to the app. Procreate is of no use without the Apple Pencil Gen 2. It's particularly great for architects and artists because of its pressure sensitivity, allowing users to create detailed drawings with ease. It's definitely an essential tool for creatives who work digitally, providing precision, control, and a comfortable design. One of the things I enjoy using the iPad for is on-the-spot photo editing. I use Lightroom to quickly edit photos straight from the camera. Because I shoot in RAW, I can easily transfer my images to Lightroom even if I'm away from the desk. It makes my workflow easier, smoother, and more efficient. After editing, I can easily just sync the photos to my Creative Cloud account. If you're also a photographer, one of the handiest accessories is this USB-C card reader from Basis. It's light and small, making it easy to carry around. I hook it up to my iPad to transfer my RAW files from my camera. Even if you're not shooting, I would still highly recommend a reliable card reader to anyone who owns an iPad. Whenever I want to look for creative ideas, I use Pinterest as my go-to app. 
Over the years, I have accumulated multiple pins and have curated my ideas onto my personal boards. The iPad has the perfect screen size in this use case. I love reading books and the feeling of paper, but earlier this year, I made a decision to move my reading to a digital platform. I use Kindle on a daily basis to read books that pique my interest. The size of the iPad is perfect for reading because it's about the same size of a book too. Right now, I'm reading the Maxwell Daily Reader. There are many music apps out there, but I find Spotify to be the best in terms of its user interface, integrations, and overall design. I use the iPad to control my music around the house because it's also connected to my Google Home speakers. And finally, the list won't be complete without Notion. If you don't know Notion yet, it's an all-in-one productivity and project management tool that allows users to create customizable pages, databases, and notes. Its flexibility and versatility make it an ideal tool for us architects who often need to manage multiple projects and keep track of various details and specifications. Notion is also highly customizable, allowing users to create pages and databases that suit their specific needs and workflows. This can save time and effort by streamlining work processes and reducing the need for multiple tools and apps. Overall, Notion's flexibility, customization options, and integrations make it a powerful tool, and that is why I move my whole workflow, and actually, my whole life in it. And that's about it for my favorite apps and accessories for the first quarter of 2023. If you're also an iPad Mini 6 owner, I'd like to learn about how you would normally use it. Any tips, tricks, and tools you use will always speak my interest. Let me know in the comments section below and I promise I'll be reading them. I would also like to thank Alpaca Gear, Moft, and AOHI for letting me experience their products, allowing me to upgrade my quality of productivity. With that being said, if this video was in any way helpful or added value to you, Feel free to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to immediately see more of my future videos like this, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more. See you in the next one. Cheers!